It is this knowledge of the loving kindness of God. The more you see the sin in yourself, the more you see the mercy of God at play, the more you see how dark your heart is, the more you see how bright God's love is for you. And with this knowledge of God's loving kindness and beyond the knowledge, also the experience of it, the being able to be born again, to have been regenerated by the Holy Spirit produces in us a fear of God. Now, when we say fear, we talk about the reverence of God. But we have to use the word fear because it is actual fear that we have. Meaning, in the same way that a person has shakes and trembles, if you've ever seen a, a video of, of a young man, a young woman, or even an old woman, an old man, you know, kind of shake and tremble when they see their favorite celebrity or movie star. And you see them kind of shaking in their boots and, and they give them a kiss on the cheek and they're like, oh, I'll never wash my face again, right? You've seen these kinds of reaction. That is all oh, fear, reverence. That kind of reaction tells you that you would almost do anything for that person. And that person asks to go give me a cup of coffee. You would, you would run over everybody else to go get a cup of coffee for them. And so it is, it is fear is the appropriate word. And it is the appropriate word because when the sinner sins, one of the things that you, you, you've seen throughout the word of God, and maybe you've heard this from pastors and, and theologians, uh, uh, and even some of the old Puritans, is that the world, the, the, the unrighteous man has no fear of God. Well, if they knew God, and they knew the loving kindness of God, they would have the fear of God. Matter of fact, we know that when God fully presents himself, particularly his wrath towards the unrighteous, the Bible says that every knee will bow. And so the fear will finally be real. We talked about it last week that often the wrath of God hits the righteous man here in this world for correction, for loving kindness because of the word of God. And often we see the unbeliever living it up, doing all right. But in hell, the wrath of God will be unleashed upon their lives. And so it is this understanding for the Christian that God saves us from his very wrath that makes us fear God. In this question of fearing God, we know it from Job 1.9, for example, is the question that is perhaps the main question of the book of Job. Does Job fear God for nothing?